Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. My name is Muhammad Shweb. Welcome back. In today tutorial, we will be showing you how to configure cyclic selective acquisition method in the WinCC SCADA. This method allows you to data archive or historize to be triggered by a specific event made it perfect for the application that need to capture data only when certain condition is occurred. With cyclic selective acquisition, you control when data is logged by linking the start of data collection to a specific event. This helps in scenario where continue data logging is not needed. So when you no, no need continue data logging. But capturing information during critical event is essential. Like uh, you need data logging on only when the uh, particular event is occurred. In WinCC, cyclic selective acquisition allow you to archive data based on a specific condition such as alarm, user actions, or external triggers. When the start event occur, data is logged at regular interval until the event is clear or the stop condition is met. Let's consider practical example. Imagine monitoring a water pump that only run when the water level reach at certain point. Instead of logging data continuously, you can use cyclic selective acquisition to start archive data when the water pump is turned on and that data logging should be stopped when the pump is stopped. So in this, in the previous tutorial, as you can see, the data is with the uh, specific five second interval continuous logging. So, uh, for our one of the practical example, we we not require to data continuous log. We require only when particular pump is run. In that case, data should be logged. Otherwise, data should not be logged. So, let's see practically how we can configure this scenario inside the WinCC SCADA. So, come here in the data logging, open it, and uh, this in the previous tutorial we already configured, this is a process tag. So, in the acquisition type, you have to select now, cyclic selective, and then you have to select a start tag. Suppose if the pump one is start, on only that case, data should log. Otherwise, data should not log. That's it. Let's close it. And then here we'll just for example we'll configure a one button. Actually, uh, this uh, like this. Uh, uh, this thing, uh, I'm just here for the simulation purpose. I'm just uh, will on the pump with this button, but then practically through your PLC logic or uh, fee, as per field uh, logic, this on input for pump one on input will appear. For the here the simulation purpose, I'm just here configuring a button, and I will just write a. Um, value one value in this tag. So I will just use a C script to set a set bit value. For example, I will select as I already select there the pump one feedback. So value should be one. Okay. Okay, just uh, comp 
file 0 error 0 warning click ok then single error just duplicate it and I will change the text on to off and after that I will just change the script for off instead of 1 I will put it 0 just compile it and press ok save it and run it so you can see here right now data is not logging okay so once I turn on the pump only in that case after every five second data will log as you can see here data is logging once the this pump is on if I will turn off the pump so data logging will also stop so that's it for today video so alhamdulillah we will learn how we can uh, configure in the WinCC cyclic selective acquisition method and we can utilize this whenever our specific event or any uh, input is triggered on that time only data should log that should not log every time so in that case we can optimize the data we can reduce our data consumption also so thanks for watching this video